name is Sam Ward, and this afternoon I'm going to talk to you about Bull Rush. Imagine rugby without being able to tackle. Imagine racing without being able to overtake. Imagine paintball without ammunition. That's what lunch times are without Bull Rush. All of these may be safe, but they are no fun. That's why I believe we should bring back Bull Rush. Bull Rush is basically another version of Octopus. Players attempt to run from one side of an area to another without getting tackled. It is also commonly known as British Bulldogs, Seaweed, Bullies, or Octopus. Now I'm not talking about that tag urine version of Bull Rush. I'm talking about what we refer to as Tackle Bull Rush. Bull Rush is awesome whether you have been tackled or not. Mention the word Bull Rush to your older generations and it will almost always bring a smile to their face. Bull Rush was recommended to be banned from New Zealand schools in 1985. The ban of Bull Rush has never been official. Individual schools wanted to prevent injuries. Bull Rush would make students aggressive or angry, but actually it's quite the opposite. In 2009, the principal of Roseland School reintroduced Bull Rush to his students. In just four weeks, Teachers reported positive results. The game helped the students let off steam. And the teachers that were usually given a hard time by students were given relief. The exercise, adrenaline rush, and fresh air stopped them from moping around. This benefits both teachers and students. A perfectly good reason to bring back Bull Rush. Bull Rush also develops control of risk taking, deciding whether to run one way or another whether to run towards a big tackler or two smaller tacklers, whether to call it quits or have another run, is all part of the risk taking and quick decision making. It is better that we learn now how to test risks in Year 9 and 10 than in playing Bull Rush than in Year 13 behind the wheel of a car. Another reason to bring back Bull Rush. The game can be known for its injuries, but that isn't completely true. The most common injuries are simple cuts and grazes owing to the game's rough nature. But we can all handle that, I'm not going to lie. The occasional major injuries do occur, but they are rare. Another problem with Bull Rush is mud. We all know the teachers really don't appreciate it when we walk into class or wet and muddy. And also, some of us may find the game intimidating. Well, there are simple solutions for these problems. Firstly, to prevent any major injuries, Wear a mouth guard or any other protection you feel it's need, if you feel it's needed. And as for the mud, wear old clothes or bring a towel. Or give time to wash up. And as for the intimidation, use teamwork to use use all the tacklers you get you can get to bring the guys down. My final point is that it is fun. There's nothing quite like playing bull rush with your mates and getting muddy. You don't often get the excuse to completely cover yourself in mud at school there. No. We all know that getting muddy is pretty awesome. It's just another reason to bring back Bull Rush. Bull Rush is beneficial to schools and their students. It requires no equipment, it develops risk taking, and most of all, it is fun. These are the reasons why I believe schools should bring back Bull Rush. Thank you for listening. Thank you.